Here's the story. A boy has been abducted, and he was seen accidentally in a window by Little Bill before the crooks pulled the boy out of sight. Now, Frankie told the police, but it was too late. The men had already decided to move the boy to another hideout in their van. The Red Hand Gang figured out they might find the new hideout by following the crook's girlfriend. So Joanne climbed the ladder to make sure she was still there, then got trapped as the lady came toward the window to look out. Hey, you think she saw us? Okay, we know she's here, so now we can start our stakeout. Lipstick. Huh? She was putting on lipstick. So? My sister's only 13, she didn't put the junk on. But don't you see what that means? She's gonna kiss somebody? <laughs> she was on her way out. Hey, that's... She's our only clue. Unless we find her, we'll never be able to find the boy. Let's make a dragon. We'll spread out and search everywhere. Well, what's she look like? She's old, over 30, a blonde, and she's wearing bright red shoes. Got it? Look for a lady with red shoes. If Jerry, you cover our regular phone booth. If anyone sees her, call in, OK? They'll be needing expense money. Give everybody a quarter from the treasury. A quarter? 10 for the phone and 15 for emergency. I don't know about all that. Oh, come on, come on. Shh, shh, money here. Give me a quarter. A quarter here, a dime here. Shh. Uh -huh. She'd never stop just to go to a shoe sale. You obviously don't know a thing about women. She won't see me. Watch.
women can be awful mean and, and tricky and sneaky. And, oh, sorry, Joanne. Well, while we're waiting, everybody give Doc back their expense money. Hey, yeah. Oh, uh, I spent my quarter, but it was for business. That was business? Blowing it on an ice cream? I had to buy something. I was disguised as a customer, and I didn't want to blow my cover. I don't think it's right the club treasury has to finance your habit. Huh, Joanne? What's the difference? They must be off the bus by now. Why doesn't Frankie call? He's really upset about Frankie. Now, I guess dogs can sense when their owners are in trouble. Don't worry, Boom. Frankie's gonna be okay. I mean it, Boom. He'll be okay. Just try to relax. See that? We not. He knows all her right. I guess it's a form of extrasensory perception transference. You see, wherever Frankie is, he's in big, big trouble. What have we here? You certainly don't intend being noisy with that around here, do you? That's not the sort of thing gentlemen discuss. Uh, remember, none of that skateboarding. I shall be napping. of that cop coming to my apartment. Oh, come on, relax, will ya? Guy was on another assignment. We gotta not get jumpy over every little thing. It's going great. When nobody in the world knows we're here. Right, kid? Right? <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, I've heard that before, meathead. There's a kid out there watching his house. I don't like it. Who was it that said not to get jumpy over every little thing? I don't like it. Yeah, there's kids everywhere. Everywhere you look, kids. Go get rid of him. Look, that can't be too tough. It's just a kid. Now go get rid of him. you done enough exercising, Uncle Pete? Why, you're strong enough now to be a champion fighter. Why, you've already got bigger muscles than Tarzan. It figures the way you bend those big steel bars. I just hope you don't get mad at anybody today and start filling up all the hospitals again. is all this prattle. Oh, just a little joke. Oh, well, it's almost dinner time. <clears throat> In that connection, I wonder if you might be able to advance me a small token. Excuse me, mister. Could you please loan me a dime? I have to make a very, very important call. And you're asking me? I'll pay you right back as soon as my friends get here. But that's not how it works. You see, I'm supposed to... I can't tell you all about it. Except that I'm trying to help the saddle law and order. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. And here I've been working the old pitches, coffee, bus fare, but law and order. <laughs> oh, you'll go far, young man. Can you help me? Ah, well, eh, for a performance like that. <laughs> there you are. I'll be right back. <laughs> of course, of course. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You mean to tell me the kid was not looking at the house? No, he, he was just with his uncle, who was doing exercises. You should have seen him, Marco. He was a great big guy, a bull with muscles like... <laughs> doing exercises, huh? Yeah, I would have run them both off, but I figured it might attract attention. Yeah, sure. Hey, uh, you didn't look at my cards while I was going, did you? All right, Lola, time to make the call. Now remember, I want you to tell the kids' parents. I know. We've been over it a hundred times, I know. I'll dial it for you. Meathead, if she calls from here, they can trace the call. Well, we could reverse the charges. Casca, come here. When this is all over, I hope you use your share of the dough for a brain transplant. Oh, come on. But they probably won't give it to you because you don't have a trade-in. All right, Lola, get going. <laughs>
It's him! Did he fly Did he fly by boy? You okay? Where are you? I'm fine. Look, here's where I am. Frankie, what is it? What's happening? The phone went dead. It was Frankie, wasn't it? But we suddenly got cut off. Maybe the wire broke. It happened. More likely. He's in big trouble. came back. Why are you so surprised? I said I would. Well, that's why I'm surprised. I hate to do this, but I have to ask you for another dime. Another dime? You want me to give you another dime? What are you trying to do? Get in the Guinness Book of Records? I'm sorry, but I really couldn't help it. You see, that lady showed up real suddenly and... Say no more. It's the old story. Huh. It happened to me. Hm. Fast women and easy money. I still have to make that phone call, and it's still super, super important. Law and order. Uh, well, <clears throat> just promise me one thing. Don't let this get around the neighborhood. It could ruin my reputation. Uh, I, I suppose I really can't blame the boy. He obviously recognizes me as a as a man of uh, substance. Hmm? Okay, I got the address. We'll meet you in that backyard. Boy, we sure were worried. Especially Boom, especially Boom. But hang in. We'll get there as quick as we can. Frankie's okay. Come on. I know you're anxious to see him. Guess he's still in shock. Come on. Some hideout. You really think we can get in there? Sure. Don't you? Five, ten, fifteen, and twenty. They're all paid. Incredible. The Red Hand Gang sure thanks you. <laughs> we'll make you a special member, if you like. Oh, of course, I have my own special clubs. Uh, the New York Athletic Club, uh, the Manhattan Club, uh, the Catalina Beach Club. Uh, but, of course, I accept with pleasure. Just hold out your hand and draw an R on it for red. Uh, the club, uh, there are no dues to pay. No. There, you're in the gang, and we'll help you anytime you need us. Splendid. Do you know who lives in that old house? Oh, uh, well, an old lady used to live there, but she died. They say, under mysterious circumstances. Mysterious circumstances? Of course, there's the usual poppycock about ghosts. Uh, so nobody goes near the place anymore. Ghosts? Oh, forget it. We're going as soon as it gets dark. Uh, darker? Lantern light. How romantic. Yeah, it's better this way. I loosened some of the fuses down in the cellar. I don't want people seeing too much light coming from the window. Marco thinks of everything. Yeah. Now, you said they were going to have the ransom money ready tomorrow, huh? 
I told him I would call him in the morning and tell him where to leave it. I'm going to be at my apartment. Hey, 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 wait a minute. You're not going nowhere. You're staying right here. I'm taking no chances. Yeah, Lola. Hey, we'll have fun. We'll watch some TV. Long kid. I told you. There was no electricity up here. Well, that's okay. We'll watch it by the landing light. I want everyone staying awake tonight. All night. Door's locked. Let's try that one. You sure you locked all the doors downstairs? Nobody's going to bother us here. Everybody thinks this house is haunted. Uh, haunted? Yeah, you know the story about the old lady in the Hey! That house. Oh, you didn't tell me anything about that. Listen, all we got to worry about here is people that are nosy, not ghosts. Jen. Someone's over there. Huh? It, it's an old lady, and she's coming this way, and she, and she doesn't have any head.